My name is Matti and I'm working as a nature guide and a dog musher in northern Sweden. This time I'm west of Kiruna, close to Kebnekaisen making a canoe tour. We have chosen Vistasvage with the river and the delta system. And the reason why we're here is because it's really really windy. Right now we have put up our tent camp after a few kilometers paddling and we find a protected place behind a small ridge and the wind pushed quite hard now and then but it seems like we are protected back here tomorrow it will still be windy and we will continue higher up along the river and it will actually be quite Oi. oh here is Annie I sitting here in the Jesus Christ Hey Anni! Hey Anni! I was actually looking for brown bear. I was <laughs> thinking that it could be brown bear here. But <laughs> Anni! I'm shitting in my pants when you're doing like that. <laughs> anyway. Now we're going higher up in the valley and we will paddle as long as we can. Higher up it will be too wild water. Now I think it's time for me to go back to my tent and into my sleeping bag. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Ta smöret med. Ja. Och här har vi dem. Så nu är det en ny dag. Och idag är det nästan ingen vind. The water level here on the river have been going down a little bit but we had quite windy last night and uh, now I had to empty the canoe because you can see the sand have been blowing away and it have been drifting into the canoe. You see a lot of drifting sand yesterday and probably into the second canoe too. So you see it had been quite windy when 
when so much sand have been blowing into the canoe. <laughs> So right now we paddling upstream along the river and I'm hiding a little bit here behind these bushes because of the wind. Quite hard work, maybe faster to walk, but uh, when we're going back down we get both the stream, the current from the river and the wind with us. Right now we're paddling towards the river and towards the wind and hard work and slow work but it's okay Det har jag inte. Det har inte. Jag har bara sagt att man har haft det förut.
so that was end of this creek just try to come backwards now <laughs> Är det bara sangs där inne eller? Va? Är det bara sangs där inne? Ja, det såg ut längre fram om ni ser. Där är det nog bankar. Mm. Är det bara igen? I thought it should be a very nice lake in here, but it's actually not. Bara... Vi ska verkligen bara njuta av att glida fram då. <laughs> ja, det måste vi klara på mindre än en dag. Tillbaka, ja. Ja, ja, ja. ja. Även om vi inte anstränger oss. <laughs> ja. 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 En klass upp och göra i... Mm. Mm. <laughs> det till. 
får köra på pannkakorna. Mm. This was a kind of uphill. Great view. Our tent is down there. Here we have blueberries, but they are not blue yet. We have a lot of beautiful flowers. Now I'm filming with the action camera, so the landscape is not so dramatic because it's ultra wide angle, but here it is a kind of wall in front of us, so we will not be able to go higher than this, but in front of this wall there is a kind of a plateau, and on the right side of us we have a canyon. So now we will try to find some water and then make some tea or coffee or blueberry soup and enjoy the view this rainy day. Luckily they have changed the weather forecast for this afternoon they changed it from 29 meter per second the wind speed and they changed it down to 19 only so that's great the good thing with Annie is that she don't have hunting instinct she's a border collie and border collie are breeded for herding sheep so, she's not the hunting type of a dog. If you had a hunting dog here, or a husky, you always have to be afraid that they should take off after some reindeer or elks, and that's not okay. So, I'm really happy with Annie. It's July, and over there, in the top of the mountain, we actually have fresh snow. I don't know if you see it with this action cam, but there is fresh snow over there. And also more fresh snow higher up in the mountain. The winter is coming. So now, we're walking back down. All the bushes are quite wet, so I had to keep my rain pants on. But it stopped raining. That's fantastic. The weather forecast was that it will stop raining and the wind will stop. And then it will start blowing and it will clear up a little bit. And then start raining again, probably. But we will see. Annie believes that she's going to stay with me in the tent tonight. Annie, what are you Hey, Annie. Muddy dog. When we came back from the hiking tour, we had our dinner. Now it's almost 8 o'clock and we have had a power nap. And it's quite... And it's very tired. <laughs> or me. So, they promised to have a stormy, raining weather. And that was, is the reason why we was quite fast with our dinner. And then the plan was to hide in the tent while 
the storm should come over us. The weather forecast was 29 meters per second when we made up the plan, but then it was now 29 meters per second. It was maybe 10, 15, maybe 15, and some rain. And not this super heavy rain as they promised, it was more a little weak rain. When we came back from the hike, she was really muddy. And uh, I actually like this uh, foldable isomats for the dogs because there is small, small holes in it or a deeper place, and all the sand ends up in these holes. And then I get less of the sand in my sleeping bag. She's really, really, really cute. And very, very nice company. I think I must let Annie rest a little bit more. Annie walked behind me. That's a good guarding dog. Probably nothing. Or an elk far away. That was my first time. Was it now, Marsha? It was last Marsha, right? No. In Marsha, was it? Yeah. Now it's uh, midnight and we can see now that the water level have increased with 5 to 10 centimeters, something like that. So it has been quite heavy raining higher up in the valley. Now I want to show you something. Uh, when I was walking around here I find all tracks from people that have lived here a long time ago. And here on the ground you can see that it's like a ring. Uh, it is here. It's probably a place where some people have lived a long time ago. And yes. Maybe an old chimney. I think this has been a Sami hut, what we call kota. It's a kind of building. That's a one. And over here, you have the second one. 
I always feel so much respect for both respect for the people who actually made their living from this land and uh, the different kind of technology they had for building their houses and their boats and everything this have been someone's home and now I'm walking here Several hundred years later, I'm here walking around. Now we have had our tea and... The wind increase and it's time for bed. Warm night sleeping bag. channel and see. That was not the elk, it was a homo sapiens. <laughs> So now we have had evening meal and you can see it start coming rain. It's almost 10 o'clock and it's time to go to bed. But it's really, really beautiful here. It's a cold wind and when we have these hot summer days back in Jokmok, I wish I could be a little bit cold and now I am a little bit cold and I really like it and it's already in the tent
So this was actually end of this video. Thank you for watching and thank you for following our YouTube channel. I also want to say a special thank you to Jonathan and Maria who followed on this tour. Uh, it was really nice. Even if we, our plan was not to go to Vistasdalen in Kiruna, our plan was to go to Karat, but we ended up far north in a valley. Really, really nice. So that's all from Mati in Jokmo. Over and out. Ciao.